many of you will know of the giant named Og, who is the king of Bashan, supposedly survived the flood. Uh, so he would be one who goes from the very beginning of the Torah all the way to the end. There's like some question as to whether he was the oldest person in the Torah, the, the oldest person ever on record, or if that goes to Methuselah or Methuselah. Um, so here I'm going to try to prove that there are better hints than this that Og was connected to Noah's Ark. So you can find him from Genesis all the way through mentions of him in Deuteronomy. So they're saying here that these words here for only Noah, which are unnecessary, have the same numerical value as the letters in the word or the name Og, which is 79. Two verses up, I'll show that there's even better uh, proof of this. So, as I said, Og goes all the way through to Deuteronomy, and you can find him in early Genesis, and here we'll see in Genesis 6. And there is some relationship here between those who are called sons of Anak, the or Anak, the giant, which means giant, this word means giant, and thus they were called the sons of, or the B'nai Anak, uh, sons of the giant, similar to the B'nai Noah, or the sons of Noah, or children of Noah, which is the um, title we apply to all mankind. Uh, so, Today, every non-Jew is uh, one of the B'nai Noah. He, he's either a Ben Noah or a Bat Noah. Og uh, also often is identified with Eleazar, the servant of Abraham. And who gave him to Abraham? Apparently Nimrod. And this is one of the reasons that Moses was kind of afraid of Og. You can see here Og's name spelled normally. Remember, of course, Hebrew goes uh, right to left. And here it is spelled out as if it's left to right. So here it is normally, as you see all these matches. And it's found ten times in the Torah. And here it is the other way, 180 degrees. Here we are in Genesis 6. Uh, which verse is this? 17. Okay. For my part, I am about to bring the flood. This is God talking. Waters upon the earth to destroy all flesh under the sky in which there is a breath of life. Everything on earth shall perish. And the word here for perish or die expire, uh, ready to be dead. If you look at the word carefully, you can see it's actually og spelled backwards, as you see here. Remember, this is what it looks like normally, and here it is backwards, and here it is in Genesis 6, when God's about to bring the flood. But then it is there again in Genesis 7, verse 21. So here in Genesis 6, it was at the end. And here, it's beginning the verse. So uh, 721, you can again see O spelled out backwards. And then two verses down, we see the, uh, the verse they were talking about in the very beginning, right here. Only Noah was left. Uh, they're saying that this is a hint of Og. Well, actually, two verses up, 
there's an even better one because his name is spelled out backwards. So we're saying that Og is spelled out backwards. And we know that Moses and Og are connected because Moses was the one who finally killed Og. And God said, fear him not concerning Og because Moses feared to wage battle. Perhaps the merit of Abraham, with whom Og had been associated, would stand up for him. Uh, so he's afraid because Og may be Eleazar. But knowing that Og is spelled out here backwards, can you find Moses? Also, <laughs> can you find other words or other names in this verse spelled out backwards? Good luck. <laughs>